Welcome back everyone to Mario's World, the place where education meets fun. In this video, we're gonna be looking over some of the trades that I've taken on some of the cryptocurrencies out there that made me 440% return on my investment. That sounds crazy. If you would like to know how I did it, stay tuned to find out more. And before we start off this video, I just want to give a very quick disclaimer. By no means I'm advising anybody to invest in crypto or to trade the same way that I traded. And by no means I'm telling anybody that they must invest in either XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin or all of that. Literally, it's up to all of your decision. Make sure that you're taking this whole video as a case study, as an example, something that will give you the experience and the knowledge of how to trade and invest if you want to in the future, but please do not do the same thing as I'm doing unless you're feeling fully comfortable and confident in yourself. And I'm by no means responsible if you end up losing some money. The other thing worth mentioning is that it did take me a long time to prepare this video and a lot of mental strength to be able to open up for some of my trades. This is gonna be one of a kind and there's gonna be much more that are gonna go come probably down the line. I'm trying to become more and more open and transparent to everyone. But if you did enjoy this video, I've put a lot of effort into it. I would really appreciate if you smash the like button and share it with your friends if you think they're gonna enjoy it. Thank you all so much, let's get straight into it. Oh yeah, and by the way, I won't be sharing my main account's number. This is gonna be another real account as well that I'm gonna be showing you guys. However, I'm just using it for tests. So in this scenario, I just wanted to show you guys that because I'm copy trading everything I'm doing from a main account to this account, so that you can see still actual results on real account, the huge increase that I mean. You can just see this specific amount increase in the real account, which is here, which is where I'm gonna be showcasing, but the actual main account that I have is obviously a totally different number and, and so on. Just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, well, here we are uh, looking over XRP and the US dollar, and that's literally what I made on what cryptocurrency I actually made most of my money, and specifically, I mean, in this specific trade. So I, had, I actually had three trades and it was, as you can see on the XRP, and just want to point out something, have a look. Here at the beginning, the volume that was used to trade when the price hit all the way up to $3.3 is not is probably half of what it, what it took for this specific time to move this amount or this amount. As you can see, it's been very steady, but it was both bullish and bearish at the same time. And that's why the price didn't move so much and it was making those kind of moves. So let's start off by analyzing why I decided to enter into XRP and what happened. Did I buy? Did I short? What was the purpose of my trade and so on? So here we go. The first thing you want to showcase is some of the trend lines. I wanted to make sure that I am aware of huge, huge milestones and huge specific targets so that I can put my stop losses, take profits and so on. The first thing that you can notice here, let's go and do this, is this specific line. As you can see most of the time it was it, when it would hit it would bounce off from it resulting in some move the next thing you want to mention and focus on is let's go here is this level see this was pretty close however this one hits definitely this one there is you can see there was consolidation around it and then we go to again this level and then we go to this level and when we go lower you'll be able to see we're, we're by the way on a weekly candlesticks so that's that's what's happening and we're on trading view trading view this platform is very nice i suggest everybody to go and check it out it's free so that's why we're going to be using it for this and maybe other videos in the future the next price as you can see milestone was definitely here it touched it it bounced back even here when it was consolidating as you can see it was wondering where to go up and down it touched this zone quite a bit and now we're going here again which was very recent now let's go to daily so that you can have a look more on what's been happening here Cool. and let's make this a bit smaller as well like this and and let me start preparing for you guys and letting you know so the first trade that I actually entered you'll be able to see on the screen was if I'm not mistaking specifically on I entered it on 10 on 7th of October as you can see on the screen so on 7th of October let's have a look where it was 7th of October somewhere here there it is somewhere here and you can see the exact price what I wanted to show you guys is first of all why I decided to do this okay so first you want to make sure that 
you have all of your key levels. We start off by introducing the horizontal lines again. So that's like the support, resistance, those kind of stuff. Okay. Probably here another one. Great. Now we're going to the next thing. We want to make sure that we're understanding where the trend is going. As you can see, this specific line bounced off, bounced off, went up. This was double top, but I'll just let you know. So you'll be able to see on the screen, this is the double top and usually it comes down from it, as you can see. And the whole idea is you, you can see this, this specific level is where things started becoming really interesting, I have to be honest. And that's when I knew that I need to get really into the XRP trade. And now we're going to why I decided to enter on 7th of October, which was especially at this price. You need to make sure that you have another trend line, which will focus and specifically show you when would be the ideal time to enter. So based on my previous analysis, you draw up the averages and let's say approximately from the highs, going all the way here, consolidation, huge consolidation. As you can see, this would, this would, would have been a very nice short trade, but it would be approximately for this distance, not much. And what we want to aim for is something as big of a movement as this one. Let me show you. So as you can see from here all the way to or from 0 0.17445 all the way to 3195. This movement is approximately 0 0.15, 0 0.15, yeah, approximately. Let's call it approximately. And from here all the way to there, that means that we would expect from the high here, which is 0 0.32, to gain 0 0.15 so we would be considerably happy if we hit 0 0.50 and we would exit you see so these, this, these are just some of the levels most of the times the price of a specific stock or uh, currency and so on moves the same amount and the same length from its previous super push so this one it was 15 so at 50 uh, approximately here was actually my take profit exactly actually just a bit higher it was a 0 0.50 there we go and as you can see here it definitely consolidated so it would have been a very good price to take my profit on as you can see here consolidation double top i was thinking it's going short for now but as soon as i saw the rebounds and actually going away from this zone as you can see it was consolidating and then it touched again this line all of these candlesticks give me a confirmation that it's the price is consolidating and it's going to boost on one of the directions and as soon as i saw these huge movements i could actually place a new trend line and start to understand what's happening here okay that's interesting when you look at the smaller time frames it's starting to get an uptrend here it again went down still consolidation then you want to make another one to make some more sense of it just to make sure you understand everything and then this doesn't make sense, so we're gonna go for this one. And there we go. So for example, this one is called a mini, mini hedge or edge. And the whole idea is that it's gonna be like a short squeeze. The whole idea is that it's, it's gonna squeeze here and it would pop. That was my previous idea. That's what I was thinking. And just to give you some background, when you look at XRP, Bitcoin and Ethereum, actually XRP is the only cryptocurrency out of them who has the most efficiency, efficiency, just programming and, and blockchain background software behind it, which allows it to make multi-billion dollar transactions in just seconds. Whereas if you want to use Ethereum or Bitcoin, it would literally take you maybe even days, even weeks to transfer this amount of money. So that's why I actually believed in XRP for a long time. This just allowed me to actually have more short-term to mid-term gain and obviously the whole trade took about a month so I entered specifically at this place let's see how we're gonna be adding um, let's see how we're gonna be adding specific that was basically my trade let me show you seven I think it was literally at this price so our my stop loss was here just be below the previous low, you see? And my take profit was at 0 0.50, which was here. As you can see, this is very good ratio. 
this is a very good ratio and however way you look at it it's 1 to 8.30 and that's what I've been saying to all of my clients because I do have a few clients and I've been saying to all of my students as well because I do have a few students make sure that you're gonna be always concentrating on risk reward ratio win ratio and how things are progressing because you want to make sure that if you're gonna risk one dollar you're gonna gain at least two two plus above that you make sure you want to make sure that you're risking this much to gain this much that's the whole idea so here we go now one to eight point three I knew that the risk reward is very nice I had a look through the previous patterns and some of the trends are actually aligning so I was like let's give it a go I could have bought in one more time here but I already had three trades at this specific level so there wasn't a need for me so you can imagine three trades is basically one percent for 8.3 times three let's just very quickly calculate it three percent for 25 percent let's call it that way risking my portfolio however I went with more than one percent of my account and that's how I ended up actually gaining 420 percent you can see on the screen some of the trades that have been actually executed you'll be able to see them somewhere somewhere around this corner or here and something else that I advise all of my friends colleagues and clients is that when something is going your way don't stop it let it run and that's the best thing that you can do you want to make sure that you're maximizing your potential profit and in this specific scenario, what I did is as soon as I saw that this was booming and everything was going perfect, I decided to put a trailing stop loss. What that means is that every time uh, the price of this specific asset, let's say the XRP USD, reaches the highest point from this particular point downwards, I'm going to set a specific stop loss. So let's say the highest point was $1 and I've set 10% stop loss meaning that from one dollar minus ten percent that means that it has to lose at least ten cents and i'm gonna go out of the position so i put a specific uh, trailing stop loss which would allow me to gain the most and i actually ended up rather making excuse me 8.30 x on my investment i actually ended up making far more just give me a second i ended up closing my trades at 0 0.700 which to be honest is one of the highest places it has been ever since. So from 182, 1 to 0.82, it became to 115. And that way you can imagine, even if I risked only 3%, now the risk reward became from one to, uh, 3 to 25, it became 3 to 45, because obviously we're risking almost 15% for 1%. And then we have three positions. And that's how I ended up with 440%, <laughs> because I was able to risk higher percentage of my account and therefore I gained quite a lot. In other words, I think I risked approximately 10% of my account for this specific trade. And as you can see, it ended up pretty good. Sorry guys, that's, that's the big minus of using this platform. When you're not using it correctly, it can literally delete your, all of your analysis. But basically, that's, that's what I really wanted to show you guys. And as you can see, it did allow me to gain the, mox the maximum returns in a matter of just a month and a half, which was just substantial. And you can see all the numbers on the screen, but I obviously had to risk 10% of my account. And was it, heck yeah, it was worth it because I gained 440% for 10%. And as you can see, even if you start with like 50 pounds, you can make the returns. And just imagine starting with 50 pounds, that will bring you, let me just do the quick calculations. If you start with 50 pounds, you would have 220 pounds. Or if you start with 100k, you're gonna have 440k. You, you get the point. The idea is that there's so much potential and I'm usually not trading crypto, let me just tell you. But this was a trade that I don't particularly take on a day-to-day -day basis and I think it would be hugely, hugely appreciated if you think this has been a nice one. So basically in summary, the key takeaways are I risk 10% to gain 450%. That's crazy, isn't it? It took me almost two months but it was definitely worth it, wouldn't you say so? I don't advise anybody to trade crypto if they have to be, if I have to be completely honest, because I think this is long due, except for a few here and there, such as XRP. I'm probably gonna be a long investor in the way down the line because their blockchain idea, and at the same time, the concept and banks actually accepting XRP, I think it's pretty nice. 
I know I won't be getting any huge returns in the future from crypto this, as the same way, but it was definitely a good experience and I'm hoping that you guys got to learn a few things as well. And obviously the account that you saw, the price was increased 440% from two point something to nine point something, but that's not my main account. But this account actually, as mentioned previously, does copy all the trades on my other account, as well as with the risk reward ratio, which means that I technically did 440% and this is just a very funny, funny, funny example. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below whether you enjoy those kind of videos and make sure you smash the like button if you did enjoy it. So stay tuned to find out more because there's plenty more I'm planning to do. Mario's World is out.